Hey, hello everyone. In this video, let's talk about how to run playwright test in VS Code. So in VS Code, we can run playwright test in two ways. One using test explorer and another one from uh, terminal command. Okay. In order to run via test explorer, we need playwright test for VS Code extension okay and with the terminal command we when we have the play rate setup that's enough okay and also in this video we are gonna see about how to run the play rate test in different browsers okay this is our agenda for this video let's go one by one first we need this play rate test for vs code extension okay go to your extensions and uh, yeah if you type play rate then you will see this make sure this Playwright test for VS Code extension is installed and it is enabled. Okay, so once it is done, go back to your explorer and uh, hope you know this is the. Uh, I mean, if you look at my previous videos, you know this is the initial Playwright setup. Just after the installation, this is how uh, the Playwright folder structure looks like. In that, our tests under will be stored under this folder called test. Okay, open the, there will be by default, there will be one uh, file named example.spec.js. Just open that file. By default, there are two tests are included uh, by playwright. So in that, um, let's see here, I hope you understood this, right? From playwright library, there is a function called test. So using that test function only, we will write our tests. Okay, so nearby that test function, you will see this green run icon okay when you click on that green run icon immediately you will see this test results folder and uh, we can see the test start executing if you look at this test result right you can see this executed in chrome and this under this test folder this is the uh, file name example dot specter js and this is as title is the test name the test has executed and it is passed in 4.6 seconds okay now okay, now let me run the second test also we can click on this green run icon or if we, if we click the run i mean in our mouse uh, right click right we will get this option run test debug test and then click on run test this also runs the playwright test okay this is one way Okay, the player test is running. This is failed. Let me run it again. No problem. Okay, now it is passed. Fine. You can see the result. Now this is the quick way to run the player test. Okay, from the near, I mean, whenever in the editor itself, um, whenever we write the test nearby that you will see the green run, green run icon okay now in the left side left navigation there are number of options right uh, explorer search source control and all there is a uh, icon called testing so when you click this icon testing you will see two options okay one is test explorer pane and another one is playwright pane via this test explorer pane also we can run our test right how we can run this in the editor right here also see this is the test folder in that we have this file called example.spec.js the two tests are available one is as title and another one is get started link okay if i want to run this get started link test i will just come here and i will click on this icon run test okay so will immediately run the test and it will show the result just like how we did in the editor pane okay now the test has run it ran in chromium and this is passed okay we can run it from here also run the complete test let's say if you have 10 files 10 files as 20 test means all 20 tests can be run with this run test option or if you want to run all the tests inside the specific folder when you click on this run test icon on the folder level or on the file level right it will run all the test inside that uh, particular file okay now you can see both the test ran you can see right, two test ran and two tests are passed so this is how 
we can run our playwright test using test explorer okay so our second option is so just now we saw the first option test explorer right using the green run icon or run test icon okay so the next one is by our terminal command so we have this terminal command npx playwright test so using this command npx playwright test we can run our playwright tests okay so i just given some examples so if you have this uh, command right npx playwright test then under the root from the test there is a folder right so if you specify like this all the tests inside this folder will run i mean this file will run okay if i want to run any specific test for example um we have this test right get started link so if i want to run this test specifically then i can give the command like hyphen hyphen grep then i can give the test name inside the double quotes which will run the te particular test alone okay now let me open the terminal and show you this opening the new terminal and in the terminal give this command npx playwright test grep okay get started link now if we run this command you can see it is running but we are not seeing this because of uh, headless is pass i mean headless is uh, headless mode is enabled by default when we run from um, command prompt or terminal you can see the test are run the oh, same test it's run via three different browsers okay let's talk about that later for now if we give this command then we can run our test okay and the final point is or uh, let me show you one more thing this is confusing right three test using three workers and all now let's do this thing okay here if we give hyphen hyphen project what is a project so project is equal to chromium so if we give like this this particular test will run only in chromium alone okay so in this way we are not confused so only one test ran and one worker okay so this is how usually we can run the play rate test via terminal now coming to the last part how to run the play rate test in different browsers okay this also we can do via text explorer or we can do via uh, this terminal now i can now explore the first option test explorer so in the test explorer we i told you right we have two planes one is test explorer and another one is play rate test explorer i mean expand this play rate pane here you have this uh, projects okay in that chromium firefox and webkit in that chromium alone is enabled so when you run your test via test explorer it will run only in chromium now i remove the chromium and i select firefox okay now let me run the test you can see you can see right this test is starts running in the firefox it's not running in the chrome it's running in firefox okay now if i want to run it in both browsers i will select both chromium and firefox okay and uh, if i click on run now you can see it will run the test in two browsers okay run two test using one worker it first runs in the chrome right then it starts running in the next browser okay this is how from text explorer we can run it in different browsers okay now let me go back to the same settings so the default one is chrome okay i mean chromium browser but uh, if you want to run it in uh, the browser which we are using right in chrome or edge if you want to run then wait Okay, I'll show you this. Let me clear it. Now, if you want to run it in a specific browser, right? I can use this command: npx playwright test hyphen hyphen project equal to chromium, right? Instead of that, I can provide the 
browser name itself so browser name should be in double quotes okay i want to run it in microsoft edge okay so this is the command and please play it test hyphen hyphen project is equal to microsoft edge so when i run it it will execute in the microsoft edge browser but here i am seeing some error it is because of the project microsoft edge is not found available projects are chromium firefox and webkit only okay so when you get this error go to your playwright.config.js right and scroll down and see the projects so configure projects are major browser here it is configured for chromium firefox and webkit only it is not configured for edge and chrome so now just select this and uncomment these lines right now it is configured for microsoft edge also now let's run this again i am running this in microsoft edge now you can see the tests are running i did not specify any file so that's why all the tests inside this file will run so it is headless mode is false actually so headless is true when we run via command prompt saying uh, we did not see the execution okay but it ran in uh, edge if you want to see the execution how it is happening go uh, open your again and inside the use add this command um, headless right i don't want headless is true i just want headless to be okay now in the terminal if i run the same command you can see the test will run in the on the edge browser and in run, run those tests so this is how we can run our testing different browsers okay one of the test is failed that's fine our main goal is to run it in the browser how we can run it in the browser that we are able to see that's okay so hope the video is useful see you in another video thanks